This video will explain how to calculate the employment insurance, Canadian pension plan, taxes, and net income of a person based on their gross income. Please note that this is a very simplified model, which is loosely based on the Ontario and federal taxes in 2012. So suppose someone had a gross income, that's how much they're paid by their employer, of $83,000 a year. During this tax year, the employment insurance charges 1.83% to a maximum of $839.97 and a Canadian pension plan contribution of 4.95% to a maximum of $2,306.70. Finally, and again it's very simplified, their income tax, we're going to calculate it as follows. Between zero and $10,000, they'll pay no tax. From $10,000 to $40,000, they'll pay 20%. From $40,000 to $80,000, they'll pay 31%. And all their money, $80,000 and over, they'll pay 30%, 37%, I should say. So, grabbing my calculator, first thing you need to do is calculate the EI. So the EI is 1.83%. We'll convert that to a decimal by dividing by 100 or shifting the decimal over two places. And let's calculate 0 0.0183%, or the percentage as a decimal, times 83,000. And we get 1,518.90. Let's do the same thing with CPP. If you remember, CPP was 4.95%, so I'll calculate 0 0.495. That's just 4.95% as a decimal, times what they make. Making sure to show my work as I type it into the calculator. And I get $4,108.50. Now, those correct calculations are correct, but remember, there's a maximum set for both these. So really, we have to indicate here that we don't want to accept these values. You show that you know how to do this calculation, and you say instead that this is over the max. And so we're going to really set it. Their EI, you won't be paying more than possibly the maximum. So let's indicate here that they're just going to pay the maximum, 2300 $6.70 for CPP and $839.97 for EI. That's the maximum you can pay. After that, they stop deducting it from your paychecks because you've reached the maximum, which someone who makes $83,000 clearly has. They would have had to pay way more. They'll stop you from paying way more and only charge you the maximum. So we've got their employment insurance contribution. We've got their Canadian pension plan contribution. What remains to calculate is the taxes. Remember that for zero to ten thousand dollars, I'll put a colon here because that's not really an equal. We're going to do a bunch of calculations. For zero to ten thousand dollars, there's no tax. But then we have to calculate their taxes between ten thousand to forty thousand dollars. That's thirty thousand dollars that they're going to pay twenty percent at. So we want to indicate. Okay, we're going to do. $30,000. Where am I getting $30,000 from? All the dollars between $10,000 and $40,000 is $30,000. And they're going to pay that at 20%. So 20% of $30,000 equals, let's find out, 20% $30,000. So they pay $6,000 there. Then between forty thousand and eighty thousand, how many dollars are there? Another forty thousand, and they're going to pay that at thirty-one percent, or as a decimal, zero point three one. So what am I doing here? I'm calculating how much tax they pay in each tax bracket between their zero to ten thousand dollars. Remember, they're getting paid eighty-three thousand dollars, but that first ten thousand dollars isn't ta taxed at all. The next amount of money, the thirty thousand in this bracket was taxed at 20%. The next $40,000 is taxed at 31%. Let's see what that is. 31% as a decimal times 
the forty thousand dollars that's taxed in that tax bracket is twelve thousand four hundred okay then it, all the dollars from eighty thousand to their maximum salary that is their entire salary that's left from eighty thousand on which is just three thousand dollars gets taxed at thirty seven percent this is a simplified model but it represents how taxes are actually calculated when you fill out your income taxes. So thirty, sorry, $3,000 taxed at 37% is $1,110. So the first $10,000 free. The next $30,000 taxed at 20%. The next $40,000 taxed at 31%. That's the first $80,000 of their $83,000. That last $3,000 is in the top tax bracket. It gets taxed at 37%. So let's pull out a total here for their total tax that they pay. And we just calculate that by adding them all up. $1,110 plus $12,400 plus $6,000. And so they pay $19,510 in taxes. So finally, we calculate their net income by taking their original salary, their gross income, $83,000, subtracting their EI contributions, subtracting their CPP contributions, and subtracting the total tax they paid. Let's find out what that's going to be. Here's the big moment. They make $83,000. They contribute $839.37 to employment insurance. $2,306.70 to the Canadian Pension Plan and $19,510 to income tax. And so their net income, that is the salary they get to take home, is $60,343.93. Well, I should say $60, well, let's write that as a therefore statement just because it's a word problem. There. And the question doesn't really ask anything specific, so I'll assume it was asking for net income. Their net income, just so I can show my final units here, didn't show my units all along, which is okay, as long as I put it in my final answer. Their net income is $60,000, I said it wrong again, $60,343.93.